kid out there in the 78-7B. Jeff Birch in the 1X, George Lewis in the 34, and Taylor Joseph the 13 are going to give it a go here for us. And if you're that trailing car, if you can come up, make some contact maybe with that uh, rear tra uh, boat trailer, might loosen that front car up in front. It looks like the 13, that left front, the left rear tire, tire on the boat trailer has gone flat. Lots of smoke pouring out of the back of that one. A good little battle up front between David Kidd and Jeff Birch. Birch on the bottom in that black and that black SUV. Chasing down the 78.7B of David Kidd. And getting right to the back bumper of that boat trailer goes the 1X of Birch. There you see the 13 of Taylor Joseph just trying, trying to keep going. And here's a battle for the race lead. Birch is going to get it, and they're going to try to pin up on the top of the track, and they're all going to get together. All three tangle up in the middle of turn number three, and there goes the race leader. Jeff Birch is around, and that trailer is barely hanging on. David Kidd is going to get out of it here with two laps to go. Okay. Unbelievable turn of events. Now the 34 of George Lewis is up to second, and Birch can barely keep moving. See if these boats can hang on for one more lap as the white flag is out. David Kidd trying to hang on, and the boat has come free on the 13. Sitting down there in the middle of turns, three and four. Oh, made a little contact here, and here come our leaders. George Lewis and David Kidd, I don't know if they know that boat is there. Oh my goodness, look out! Somehow gets through, and David Kidd is gonna hang on to win. Kidd gets the win, George Lewis comes in second. And coming around is gonna be Taylor Joseph. As the 1X of Jeff Birch able to come by and complete this one. But man, that was crazy up there in turn number three. All three of the leaders in a big hit there. As our winner, David Kidd, comes by. And he's going to try to burn it down here on the front stretch. Smoke show on the front stretch for David Kidd. So David Kidd, Jeff Birch, Birch not too happy with David Kidd there, but David Kidd nonetheless victorious. Here from down on track, we are set and ready to go. We're going to count them down from five. Let's count them down, folks. Five, four, three, two, one. We are green in the chain race. and they're going to run the kidney bean portion of the track as they've got the back stretch cleared off, or blocked off rather, so they're going to have to go down in through the infield section and see some cars having a little bit more trouble trying to get down through there, can't quite put the power down like they want to. But out in front, here to come by to complete lap number one is going to be the number 20 of Billy Benoit and 1X of Jaybird running in second. See, though, I believe the 171 of Dalton Ellis is strapped to the back of the 1X, and man, Billy Benoit is just dragging that 98 car along. Billy Benoit with a nice lead goes up out front. Dalton Ellis there in third. Raven Rogers back in fourth in the 48 machine. See all the dust getting kicked up in the middle there. Going to make visibility a little bit of an issue for the time being, but so far, everybody able to get through there. Unscathed and uh, Billy Benoit really putting on a pretty blistering pace and already approaching lap traffic. But man, that back car, that 98 car, is hanging on for dear life. Benoit comes out of turn number four. He's going to see the uh, see lap traffic for the first time. Here's
Here's the 1X of Jaybird, and back again up here to our leader working around lap traffic, the 71 machines, and kind of getting to the outside there, but only has to take evasive action there and try to navigate through the slower infield portion of the track, and we'll get to the outside of the 71, continuing to lead, and now putting a couple of cars a lap down. Check out just yet though. 1X of Jaybird is closing in. Getting to within about two or three car lengths as we have four laps complete as we're coming up on the halfway point. This next time by in the 98. Slipping and sliding. Hits one of the tires there. That's going to slow up the 20. And here comes the 1X. Jaybird coming up on the outside. Okay, 12 laps will be the distance I've just been told. And we've got a battle for the race lead and a new lead. It looks like one of the chains may have come undone on that 20 and 90. So there goes the 1X of Jaybird, the new leader. Dalton Ellis now going to try to hang on there as the tail car. And again, that 98 is just hanging on for dear life at this point. Only one chain, and if that other chain does come undone, that would do it for the 98 and the 20. like problems up there in turn number three. Remember, Enduro rules, we will not throw the yellow, we will stay green. And Benoit just continuing to have problems, now in jeopardy of losing the second spot. Here comes the number 98 car, or excuse me, the 48 car, and the 82. That's going to be Raymond Rogers and Bigfoot Taylor. Making their way up into second, and Jay Bird's got a nice lead built up now. A little more than four and a half seconds the last time by the start-finish line was the gap from those first uh, those first pair of cars back to second. As Billy Benoit and the 98 just trying to hang on desperately for third at this point. So we'll see if the 48 of Raymond Rogers and Bigfoot Taylor can close in on Jay Bird, and they are here in the closing laps. Less than five to go, and they are there. Battle for the race lead is on. Bird in the 1X, Dalton Ellis along for the ride in the 171. And big time problems in the middle of the field there. Looks like the 71 of Austin Dunham and the 17 of Matthew Hamill had some issues, but they continue on. And the 48 dragging something for sure as that chain down on the bottom of the, of the car is really starting to drag along the asphalt. And here comes the 48 looking to make a move on the 171 of Ellis. As we'll come to the line this next time by, there'll be just two laps to go, and we've got a battle brewing for the race lead. Up correction, I've been told 11 laps, so the white flag is out. Final lap. Can the 48 of Rogers make a move one final time in through the kidney bean? He's there. Contact bounces off the 171, and there goes the 1X. But the 48's involved, too. Here comes Billy Benoit. Billy Benoit's going to take the lead. Benoit back out on the racetrack. The front four cars get together. Somehow, some way, Billy Benoit is going to win the chain race. What a finish!